Yo, hey. Uh, so, uh, I'm back. It's uh, actually about three days since I shot that unboxing. Had the guitar over the weekend, and uh, I, it's not. I'm not keeping it. So Bobby came by, and we looked at it, and we sort of agreed. It, it had a number of flaws. First of all, and I'll try and get it in the in the shot over here. There are some condition issues. You know, it's like uh, you can see it on the top in this camera over here. There's definitely, you know, uh, some condition issues. That's not even, I mean, that's kind of minor. You know, it's not that bad. But there's a couple of dents on the neck. It's just annoying, right? And I've always said, if the guitar, if you're not absolutely thrilled with a guitar, don't keep it, right, if you have the opportunity to return it. Uh, and I have the opportunity to return it, right? I bought it from Guitar Center, so I have 45 days to decide if it meets my my needs <laughs> and uh and i'm feeling you know again even in this camera up here you can see that definitely got a few condition issues going on you know um and, and, and it's really it's the it's the bumps on the neck the the, the the ones especially this one right there i mean you could treat treat it like a 12th fret position marker but i, I don't like it i don't like it i don't like that feel right there and it's right on the edge it's right there so you feel it you know, I've had dents on the back of my neck where my, guitar, my hand doesn't really touch that part of the neck. I, I, I seemingly just avoid that. It's either you're too far up or too far down or something. I, you don't really feel it. It's just right in the, just in the right spot where you don't feel it. This is just in the right spot where you do feel it. It's annoying. Uh, and then the last thing is that this guitar stinks, literally. Uh, whoever owned it was a uh, cigar smoker. I don't, I don't know, you know, li lived in a, in a, you know, in a, in a, in a swamp with a, with a, with smoking cigars all day. I, I, this thing stinks like kind of musty, um, definitely like some sort of a smoke, some sort of either a cologne or something going on on this thing. Uh, it has an essence of musk that uh, is very off-putting, so much so, so much so. That when I was first playing this, after unboxing it, after the cameras went off, and that night I was playing it, I was literally like dry heaving. I, you know, I, you know, I, I was like, this, oh, this is bad, <laughs> right? I'm like gagging on the smell of this guitar because I'm sure my body, like, warmed the lacquer up a little bit. It started to outgas the smell that's been impregnated into it, and it was pretty bad. So. I did an emergency ozone refreshing Friday night. I went out there at, after dark, it was like 9 p.m. The car way down the end of the driveway, closest to the garage. I just stuck this on the driver's seat through the ozone generator and the center console facing the guitar. Closed up all the doors and let it rip for about an hour. And then I, you, after it's done, ozone takes a couple of hours to break down. So you get some more action working on it. My only regret is that I should have just, and I always forget this, I should put a little fan in there just to constantly be whooshing the, the air around instead of just letting it sit in it. You know, I think uh, maybe a little more air circulation would, would help it. Anyway, it did help quite a bit. The only reason I can sit here and hold this guitar now, because this, I tell you, man, this thing stunk. So, um... All that together, and, and you know, and the other thing is, and I guess I didn't notice it, is it didn't come with a case. What Gibson doesn't come with a case, right? Especially a standard model with the binding on the neck and the crown inlay, trapezoid inlay, whatever you want to call. You know what I'm saying? It's like oh, most Gibsons, when you buy them used, they they come with a case, and I just I, I guess I didn't notice it. So when it showed up without a case, I went back to check because this has happened before. My Les Paul a guitar I love showed up without a case, and I called them up and said, "Where's the case?" And they're like, oh, we'll overnight it. And they sent over a wonderful, like a brand new case with all the case candy in it, everything, all the provenance for that guitar. This one, if you go back and look at the ad, it doesn't say it comes with a case. It probably doesn't come with a case. So there's really no argument to say, hey, you forgot the case. It looks like it didn't come with one. 
So, uh, you know, between the damage, the stank, and the lack of a case, that's a, that's a three strike, you're out. Though, quite frankly, I'm, a, I'm sort of a one strike guy. If I don't like anything about a guitar, I'd send it right back. You know, I, I'll say one thing. Let, let's focus on a little positive here. I like the neck. I, I think the this is very much like the classic neck. Okay, so apparently the 61 is the 60s feel neck. I'd probably like the Les Paul 60s neck. I'd have to double check. But this feels like the classic. Unlike the SG uh, standard I have in Ebony. Uh, that's a 2022 model? No, 2021 model. Um, that guitar has a tiny bit larger rump right at the very back. This is a, just, a, just a hair smaller, but I'm telling you, you notice it. You notice it without a doubt. So uh, I, I like the neck. I like the specs on the 61. Just not this particular guitar. All right. Well, you know, and I'll say another thing, uh, and Bobby pointed out, he said, boy, they really, they really photographed this about as good as it got, he said, because when you see it and you see it in person, it's much, very much darker than what it looked like in the photos. He goes, and when they blow it up like that, he goes, all those imperfections sort of blend into the, the blowout of the uh, pigments, right, of the, of the red. So the red's really blooming and it's very bright, and you don't pick up the little you know, the little dings on it. So, uh, anyway, you know, give it a try. It, it happens. And, uh, but it's going back. Probably uh, I'll be leaving within minutes after ending this video. So by the time you actually see this video, this guitar will be returned. So if, you, if you're like, it's great, you keep it. I own that guitar. I'd do that. I'd pay. We'll go up on Guitar Center use and buy it then. Knock yourself out there. But uh, I think they have a, the exact same guitar in much better condition with a case for the same price, which tells me this one was a little overpriced. And, uh, you know, the lack of the case, the condition. Am I repeating myself? I kind of am. Lather, rinse, repeat here. Oh, there you go, guys. The, the... Um <laughs> Reissue. A little creaky. <laughs> creaky. It's the strap getting picked up by the, by the microphone. Do, do, do. All right. There you go. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. And rock on.